hi welcome back to the pond check preview we are on day 33 so close to the end of our nti learning you guys have been doing such a great job and we are in our poetry unit and right now you guys are getting ready to an ex to explore an ode now traditionally an ode is to honor someone or something that has high prestige and great 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 honor um, and these are usually very very serious type poems um, but the one we're about to read is kind of silly um, and it's an ode to mi gato which is Spanish for my cat um, and so this is kind of funny in the fact that typically you don't do an ode about your cat um, but I'm going to read a little bit of it and then I'm going to talk to you about um, the questions that you're going to do with it and then tomorrow you will finish working on Mi Gato, Ode to Mi Gato, and you'll even get to write your own ode and it's going to be kind of fun. So let's go ahead and read just a little bit. I'm not going to read all of it because it's um, 50 or 60 lines, so I'm not going to read all 60 lines, but I'm going to read a little bit so that way you kind of understand how the poem works so you can read the rest. Um, so, Ode to Me Got To by Gary Soto, which remember Gary Soto was the one who wrote Jacket, and what we know about him is he has um, Hispanic culture, and that, so that kind of gives into why it's called Ode to Me Got To, because it's about cat. Okay. So, he's white as spilled milk, my cat who sleeps with his belly turned toward the summer sky. He loves the sun. It's warmth like a hand. He loves tuna cans. And milk cartons with their dribble of milk. He loves mom when she rattles the bag of cat food. The brown nuggets raining into his bowls. My cat loves me because I saved him from a dog. Because I dressed him in a hat and cape for Halloween. Because I dangled this sock of chicken skin as I stood on his hind as he stood on his hind legs. I love me gato. Porque I found him in a fender. So Go ahead and finish reading the rest of the poem on your own, but I want to talk a little bit about the structure of an ode. What's different about an ode is that the other ones that we've read had stanzas. They had rhyming patterns. They had a flow to them. An ode, if you can see here, is one giant stanza. There's no spacing between them. There's no paragraphs. They can kind of rhyme a little bit, but they don't have to. Um, so what I love about an ode is that there's no real structure. However, there's no more than four words per line. So you can have two, you can have three, you can have four, but do not do more than four. So it's basically like telling a story, but you do four words, hit enter, four words, enter, four words, enter, but no spaces between them, so no stanzas, okay? So today you guys finish reading the rest of the story and then answer questions one through eight. So they're very, very simple questions such as the Spanish word, what does it mean? I already told you. Um, write a simile. It, um, which is we, there's one right away at the beginning. What do you learn about the cat? Um, what is the chicken skin compared to? That one we've had a hard time in the past with. Um, but like what it means by chicken skin is like a toy. So what is he, what is he comparing the toy to? Okay. Um, uh, what is the tone? Now there is a shift on line 35, which I didn't read. There's a shift in his tone. Pay attention to it. Remember what is the purpose of an ode and pay attention to his tone and, and you'll be able to figure out his tone by the word choice, okay? Um, lines 56 and 7 are similar to lines 1 and 2. How? Go back and tell me how they're similar. And then um, an ode honors something important to the speaker. What is he honoring in this poem? That's number seven. And how does the writer feel about his cat? Use textual evidence to answer this one. I want to see lines blank says this. This means that. Kind of like a T-E-C-C -C a little bit. But go back and use, actually it says use T-E-C-C. -C. Um, so go back and write a good paragraph for number eight. Awesome. Good luck. Go enjoy it. And I will see you at Zoom. Bye.